and so many, yeah, so many levels of games involved in, in this show. There's, um, there's the social game that you play. Do people in the game? Um, there's the uh, strategic um, yes. game, which is, you know, knowing what boats are lying where, what wild tactics you can use to manipulate people to get you uh, get them to do your bidding then mm -hmm. there's of course the actual physical competitions and the trivia and the mental competitions the actual like you know um yes. power in the house or safety in the house um and then of course the overarching game is can you get it can you get to the end of the game not be voted out and not only that but yes. convince the people that you may have hurt or stabbed in the back to award you a massive cash prize. That's the biggest game. Um, so that's, and then, yeah. and then that's only one yes. level too. On the other level, it's not a game at all. On the other level, it's some really, really different people, like Canadians from different walks of life in different parts yeah. of the country and different backgrounds and ethnicities um, and coming together and yeah. having some really authentic moments. Uh, they say that about Big Brother, like it's, um, that's right. You know, at its heart, it's still yeah. two people talking in a room. Mm -hmm. And some of our most memorable moments aren't from the actual game aspect of it, but it's from those human connections that, especially these days, I think people are so eager to see real ones. You know, and I think, yeah, anyway. Yes. How has this job changed you? What have um, you learned about yourself along the way? You've had an amazing ride with it. It's a great gig to have landed. Who yes. were you before and who are you now? Um, I don't know that I personally have changed all that much in that mm. I've been in television, Canadian television for 21 years. Um, before that, I went to a uh, performing arts um, school and high school in, in North York, yes. Claude Watson School for the Arts. Um, and I think I was, uh, I, I was very, I was deeply nerdy. And, and I say was, but I think I am deeply <laughs> nerdy. And I, <laughs> no, I can't but I see think, that. Um, I can't see that. It's like a character building experience. Mm. I think being somebody who's not popular mm. um, or invited to all the parties or like yeah. doing all the rebellious things, um, you learn different kinds of survival skills. Like for me, I'm a, I'm a social floater. I have yes. many, many groups of friends. I have many groups uh, or many different kinds of people in my life. Um, and I think that's yes. kind of yeah. not cool. It really does keep you humble. And I don't think I've ever lost that sense of, yeah. yeah. You know, I think I, listen, I think I'm great. I'm, that's, my mom did a really good job of my dad in making sure that I had a good sense of self and a, and a strong sense of um, self-confidence. So that never... You know, like that was never a problem, even when I was nerdy, or whatever. But I feel like I've never left that that sense of I, I'm I'm not better than anybody, and no one is better than me. Mm. Um, but I will say, uh, being part of something so fantastic um, has definitely brought a lot of joy to my life. I can say that um, my uh, my thirty. So I'm forty three now. So when we started the show, I was thirty three. And um, I had a two-year-old daughter and, a, and uh, my son was 10 months old. And now I have another toddler who's two and a half. And wow. so this really yeah. was like, oh. They're beautiful. Um, you know, they're awesome. They are. I think they really are. This last decade was like the, the decade of parenting and motherhood and big brother. And so I'm so grateful and thankful that I could be one doing a job that I love. Like, you know, in this business, people just need to pay their mortgages. I don't think mm. I got that when I was a kid. Like, why would you do something that's not yeah. great? It's like, yeah. because people need to work. And if we're living here in Canada, yeah. we've made a choice to like yeah. maybe take less on the pay angle, but like yeah. have all these other benefits, diversity, um, safety, uh, free healthcare, yeah. all those things, right? Um, yeah. But I think now I understand everyone was just trying to work. And if you're lucky, you work on something with people that you love, whether or not it's good or not, whether or not people watch it, whatever. And then if you're, doubly lucky you work on something with people that you love that is really really good and then if you're triply lucky they love it and, which they uh, do and I think, which they do like yes, honestly do. It, is, it is so exciting to be on a show this good that this many people watch um big brother is a huge franchise around the world there were 30 versions um uh last year yeah. mongolia was the latest yeah. one to the table um, I'm, you know, I'm tight with some of the other hosts, Rylan in the UK, Ibuka mm. in Nigeria, 
it's like a big yeah. thing everywhere else but we do have like this cult following for the canadian version and we are so proud of that so that's amazing. um yeah so i think that's what it's it it's changed me in the way that um i have a lot of joy associated with what i do for my job and that also allows me to stay really joyful in my personal life and also to be basically a glorified stay-at-home mom when when the show's not on you know some people are really i think you know my ambition is just to be doing something that i think is meaningful and is really good work mm -hmm. and pushing the conversation forward and i think we're doing that with big brother um canada but uh ultimately i really uh, I'm, I'm not that ambitious in that i don't want to take too much time away from from my family i mean they're right. you know kids they grow up fast they're here with you and then they're like later and yes. they're like, hey, mom, do you want to come to yeah. Paris? And I'm like, of course I do. See, that's what I dream. That's, that's, <laughs> that's just my fantasy. That's my fantasy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there you go. A long yes. way to answer a very simple question. So <laughs> We've got time for a couple more. Go ahead, Simone. Well, that kind, of cut into, that kind of cut into the question that I was going to ask you is, as a woman, um, with all that you're doing, what gets you up in the morning? What keeps you motivated? What inspires you? Oh, what are you um, most proud of? So professionally, I am in a place that I feel really proud of where I've gotten to. And I think that's, you know, you go through so many phases in your life, right? Um, in my 20s, my career yeah. phase was yes. Whatever, it, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. you, it doesn't pay very much or, you know, it only has this much, the answer is always yes. And then you do that so that you can set up your 30s so that you've already met all the people who um, might steer you into different things. Um, and and yeah. now I feel like um, such a big responsibility to like do something good with um, all the blessings I have. And and so mm -hmm. funny, because you know how they say, um, to whom much is given, much is expected. Mm -hmm. um, but also, expected. Um, yeah. my stepmother reminded me of this, uh, that to whom much is, ex or for whom much is expected, much is given. Mm. And so That's I feel clip. really like, you really do have to, yeah. you know, whatever you, however you want to phrase it, pay it forward or send the elevator back down to lift more people up. Like, I think that is so important. Um, and the work I've been able to do in, in my role as an executive producer on Big Brother, as well as the host uh, for so long is to really move the needle in terms of the representation of different kinds of people on our Canadian screens. And one day all of this will be like, we won't think about it. We will take it all for granted that, of course, mm -hmm. you know, we see this rainbow on television exactly. of different identities and different ethnicities and religions and all that. But until that time, yeah, you, work, you have to force the issue until it becomes something that you don't even blink at and it's not even part of the conversation anymore. So I hope the moves that our show has made to um, encourage other reality shows and other productions to think differently about who the faces are that they, that they put on their screen. Um, I hope I hope all of that has meant something, and then I hope one day it will mean nothing, because no one will think of it as a thing that had to be done. Yes, agree. But, you know what I mean? Yeah. Last question, yes. and then we've got to let yeah. you go. Um, yes. International Women's Day is coming up. We're celebrating women all month long here on Simone and Sean. You being the Love first. Love that. What does what does International Women's Day mean to you? Um, well, uh, women are uh, half the population. <laughs> Um, so it, it's, it's interesting yep. because it, the fact that that require like the actual fact of your gender requires some kind of. Just when it was getting really good, her oh. answer. <laughs> I want to know what she says. <laughs> Cliffhanger. It'll probably, pop in anyway. It'll probably pop in anyway. That's okay. I bet you she does. She probably will. I bet you she does. She probably will. <laughs> <laughs> Technical <laughs> difficulties here on Simone and Sean. Not the first time. Well, if the windows <laughs> just, well, oh, no, God. <laughs> we'll never know what she has. Yeah, the window disappeared. A, <laughs> a mystery. <laughs> oh, 